Hello, this is Clive Lee, the advisor of the STEM Club at Hudson County Community College. Our college will open in the fall semester of 2020, and we have many uh, laboratory classes it will be on site. That means students will need to go to the building and do the experiment. Our college will provide uh, face mask for students. So the question is, how do we provide them the mask? If we just put the mask on the table, allow them to take it, and we don't know how clean their hands are. For example, are they contaminated? And uh, can they touch the box like this? Or can they take more than one at a time? Just grab and go. So my team actually come up with a solution. We make a uh, prototype of the face mask dispenser. So how does it work? Well, actually we try very hard. For example, we have thought about just make it similar to the um, paper uh, tissue. So just to extrude it out, but it's difficult because it's very difficult to get more, um, just one coming out. Very easily you can have more than one coming out at the same time. And we have tried, for example, all the masks, they, they have a special property, no matter which brand, it comes from different brands, but they're the same. So you can see three things folding together, and you will see two bands here for the ears. Okay. So based on one mechanism, we actually have tried, tried to push one of these folding grids here, try to push it out, but it sounds good, but it didn't work out. That easily so we tried and we also have tried to use a fan try to turn it on and this fan is going to generate certain vacuum and we try to pull it up however um, this fan is not powerful enough to pull up the mask and finally we came up with a way of by using gravity and and the design of the mask itself then those two bands over here. So instead of putting it in the box, what I'm going to show is, I'm going to show it here so you can see how this thing works. So what happened is this one, well, actually it should, it can also work in the box. This one, when I turn on the machine, this part will slowly coming down because all the mask wood is designed like this. Oh, I just straight it. So it slowly comes down, when it hits the mask, it will stop, and after it stops, it's going to move to the center. So when this arm moves here, and it's going to, ideally, it's going to raise it really high, and then turn around and give it to the student. So that's how it works. When a person walks over here, this sensor sends a person and the arm start moving down. Once the arm hits the face mask, it's going to rotate, bring it to the center, and bring it up. Ideally, the arm should be longer and can bring it a little bit higher and bring it to the front of a person. So bring over here, supposing you bring to the front, I take it, and then I walk away. Then, this arm is going to move back to the original position and wait for the next student to come in.